Hi everybody, my name is Mitch Myers. It's been 35 days since our last game here at Dick Stadium when we really dominated over Bowling Green State University. Last game now at OU, we lost 45 to 38, suffering our first conference loss. We are now two and one in the MAC, facing a Miami team who's also two and one in the MAC. Kind of seeming like a must win game for Kent State to kind of make their way into a MAC championship at the end of the year. There's lessons that need to be learned here about the way in which that we have to be very attentive to our jobs, to our tasks, and that there's no details that's too small because that could be the difference between a tight ball game or one possession ball game. Coach Sean Lewis isn't a moral victory kind of guy, but looking at the big picture, Kent State had the Bobcats, the team predicted to win the conference against the ropes, and the Flashes still sit tied first place in the MAC. And another thing for certain, they have their man behind center, Dustin Crum. He, he has a routine that he follows every single week so that he knows his opponent, he knows the plan. So very rarely do you see him kind of get caught or get surprised or make a bad decision. And the result of that is the production that he has. The Flashes look to prove themselves this week against Miami of Ohio, a team that embarrassed Kent last year, winning 31-6, to putting up 295 yards on the ground. As you start preparing for Miami of Ohio and they're just as physical, they're just as long, they're just as fast in all three phases. And it's like, okay, let's get back to as close to 100% as possible and get the horses to, to race day and, and let's go get it on again. The effort and the attitude to come and prepare to win need to be right. Everyone wants to win this game, but are you going to do the things that winning requires throughout the course of the week? And are you going to show up and prepare to work on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, on a Thursday, have greater attention to detail all throughout the course of the week so that when you get to the game, you know, Saturday at 3.30 and hopefully in front of a packed Dick Stadium, you're able to, to perform. Game time still slated at 3.30. Weather's going to be right about the same for the rest of the day, so we're prepared for it for up-to-the-minute coverage. Just follow TV2KSU Sports for everything and post-game coverage. I'm Mitch Myers.